Welcome back. You're watching the Late Night News. Well, the All India Senior Selection Committee met in Nagpur earlier today to pick the Indian squads for the first two ODIs against New Zealand and the Test Series against South Africa. As per their request, the Indian skipper MS Dhoni and his deputy Virendra Sehwag have been rested for the ODI series, while Sachin Tendulkar, Zaheer Khan and Harbhajan Singh were not considered due to injury concerns, which require attention and rehabilitation as well. In their absence, their left-hander Gautam Gambhir will lead the side. India is scheduled to play five ODIs against the Kiwis. Both the teams would utilize this series for the preparation for the World Cup starting in the Indian subcontinent on, the February, on February 19th in 2011. And on to some news from the Asian Games, will India advance to the semi-finals of the hockey tournament at the Asian Games and after a 3-2 win over the greatest rivals Pakistan in a Pool B encounter. It was the third successive win for India over in Pakistan just 2010 after their 4-0 win at the World Cup in March and a 7-4 thrashing at least at last uh, month's Commonwealth Games in Delhi. And well, it was a fantastic result for India and for Sanya Mirza at the Asian Games. Sanya is through to the semi-finals of the women's singles tennis event. The world number 166 and unseeded at the Asian Games. Sanya upset second seed in world number 58, Tamarin Taran Sukhan, 6-2-6-3 to storm into the semi-finals. Sanya, who won a silver in the last edition in Doha, will play third seed and world number 69, Agul Aman Mura Doha of Uzbekistan in the semis next. And well, moving on, the Colonial Cousins came up with an exquisite fusion of ragas and pop elements the fifth day of the Hindu Review November Fest. And here is the lowdown of the musical evening. Last evening had the busiest crowd of the fest, as it was time for the Colonial Cousins' homecoming. Well known for their seamless fusion of Carnatic and Western music, Hariharan and Leslie Lewis were all set to roll. Hariharan's rich baritone and Leslie's smooth strumming on the guitar complemented each other. This is what the cousins had in store for us this time around. I have done, uh, I have uh, performed in this fest, I think last year or the year before last, with uh, Yu Srinivasan. Amazing crowd, very knowledgeable crowd, and very musical crowd. And uh, looking forward to meeting them again. And what they can expect is uh, all the colonial hits. What, what say Les? You said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to, uh, I think, have a party tonight because we're just going to get on stage and and I know uh, when the audience is really in a good mood, I think both of us can really have a great time with the audience. And it's I think it's going to be like that tonight. I have a Hopefully feeling. It's a good feeling. Yeah. It's a good feeling. Yeah. Soon after, the cousins weave their magic with Hariharan's mastery of the ragas and Leslie's chipping in with the delightful pop element. With the flute and the drums working in tandem, it was a music fest in the truest sense of the word. It was another evening where the crowd was left wanting for more. The colonial cousins rocked the house as promised and made the homecoming quite worth it. With camera person Manoj, Kali Sayak for NDTV Hindu. And finally, mall visitors at Chennai city centre were left to know as the Mamboza boys from Africa showcased their acrobatic skills. Our reporter Chandy Thomas couldn't really flex it himself, but he managed to get this for us. The last thing you would expect while you're shopping in a mall is to see an African guy almost on fire. Presenting the Mamboza boys. They started off their show with a dance, letting the audience believe that that was all they had to do. But soon, the jaws dropped to the floor. The body acrobatics performed by these men left this little guy curious for a different angle. And when the vertical pole came into the scene, well, this kid wasn't the only one who was in absolute shock. Looks like the limbo is something I can attempt. Uh, not at all. That requires more than just a flat stomach to flatter the pretty girls.
Okay, so there it is, the guy is doing the Mombasa dance and you guys can enjoy that too at the Chennai City Centre in the next few days as well. This is Chani Thomas for NDTV Hindu. Well, that's all we have tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night.